Good evening, folks. There's more to even, to even talk about. I mean, say if the working territory went into Canada and we took the work and we did declare war while we're on Great Britain while we we're at war with Mexico. Well, a lot could have happened. There's two ways of looking at that. One, let's compare that situation to World War One and World War Two. Well, let's look at World War Two, for instance. Hitler was going on a similar instance. He had Stalin on his side, but instead he turned on his friend Stalin and pretty much went right into Russia, but he failed Russia badly, and they pushed him backwards. And then, and then he had, and then we go to the other direction. World War I. Two fronts. A victory on one side, which was the Eastern Front. A failure on the Western Front. Germany lost big time. But the failure on the, on the Western, on this game, where the Germans lost on the Eastern Front in World War II, was wrong reason. They lost too many people. Instead of just heading, they had it going their way all the way. They headed towards one town, Moscow. But instead, they split up and did a three prong attack, hitting Leningrad, Moscow, and Stalingrad. Instead of just heading towards one town. They're on the track to take the whole entire country of Russia. But then. The United States got involved and pretty much will turn things around for the whole war. That same thing in the First World War. The United States got involved and pretty much will change the course of the war. Well, the French also seemed to have more better tactics in the First World War than they did in the Second World War. Interesting, isn't it? <laughs> As we come around with other wars. As we get back to the Mexican-American War, what if the Americans were still already had beaten the British in two wars? Could they have beaten them again? Most likely. They already had a lot better tactics. They were pretty much all destroying Mexico left and right. But then again, Mexico was hardly anybody. They pretty much were pushing Mexico around like a pushover. It was kind of like during the Battle of Buena Vista, it wasn't anything like Zachary Taylor's troops were pretty much well prepped and ready like they were. Now, if you compare them at other battles, such as Chapultepec, they marched all the way down through Mexico into Mexico City under Winfield Scott. Winfield Scott literally led them all the way to Mexico City. The capital of Mexico then, too. They could have led all the way through Mexico and just made Mexico a state. Easily made Mexico a state. I don't know. We, we may not even have a drug problem. We probably wouldn't even have a drug problem nowadays. We wouldn't have the drug problem we have nowadays. I don't know. We may not. We may. As a Canada situation. It was smart for James Polk just to draw a line and say, Hey, we made peace with them. Made peace with Great Britain and made it into Canada. Canada does draw the line. Big victory for the United States with Great Britain and the United States. Not a piece of blood was ever shed between the two countries when that part came around. Loved it. War avoided. Unlike when France and Canada, not France and Canada, but when France and Great Britain fought over Canada and parts of the United States, that's where it all began. The United States was just like Canada, a piece of land. But the United States wanted freedom from, from Canada. Well, not for Canada, the United States wanted freedom from Great Britain, and that's why we fought, that's why we signed the Declaration of Independence, July, 
July 4th, 1776. Big time W. For us. We got our own country. But the Mexican-American War... We marched right through Mexico, walked all over Mexico. It was almost like France during the Franco-Prussian War. If we can compare one battle in each war that we ever fought, that was pretty much all the turning tide. Yorktown pretty much all ended the war for the British. That's one. Sedan was pretty much, well, the rooting of the French by the Prussians. Prussians rooted the French at Sedan when Napoleon III was captured. And then we get other w battles, such as... Let's see here. The march all the way to the Atlantic when the United States pretty much will cut off the Confederates. I mean, that pretty much will end the entire war, but pretty much will other things accompany to that. The whole entire front pretty much will... Winfield Scott, before he retired in the middle of the Civil War, he made what you called the River Campaign, a.k.a. the Blockade. He'd go up every river in the United States and block them. And not let anybody down through. Not let the Confederates through. In other words, almost every major river in the United States will be blocked so no Confederates could get through. And it pretty much what worked. The Mississippi River was one of them. The Ohio River. Made it so no Confederate supplies could get through. And sure enough, it worked. And as of other key battles, let's see here. What were other key battles? Um, let's see. Battle of Buena Vista, that was a key battle. That pretty much will turn to the Battle of Mexico City and Chapultepec were two of the major battles that turned the point of the Mexican-American War. I mean, nobody can deny those battles. Mexico City fell. That pretty much will turn the entire war in favor of the United States. They was already going to the United States' favor. That pretty much will there ended any chance of Mexico trying to turn the war around. But pretty much, and if we a war ever did break out with Great Britain, the United States over the Oregon Territory, if the United States entered into Canada, like they did with, like they did in Mexico, if the United States ever decided to make Mexico a state, what do you think? How many electoral votes do you think they would have? And if I stayed ever, and no, I just I'm gonna think of something else. And if, and if they made, and if the United States ever made British Columbia part of Canada a state. What do you think they would have called it? Because that part of Canada, I wouldn't be surprised if they ever made it into part of the United States. Southern part of British Columbia. What do you think they would have called that? Let me know in the comments below what you th and how many electoral votes do you think they would have they would have had for that one. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Please leave a comment and tell me what you think they should have called that state. And I'll get back with you. I gotta do some things. Like, subscribe. I'll get back with you soon as I get another chance. I'm out of here. Peace.